Hello, trading has closed on the 23rd of January 2024. We always start with our disclaimer. We'll go over our calls. We'll make some predictions for tomorrow. Well, this is my trading plan for Wednesday, which is January 24th. Please remember, uh, I can be completely wrong. All trades should be at your own risk. Also, I have a lot of personal business this week. I've spent less time than I'd like on my analysis. Look for the payment today with the early low. Tomorrow should also have the early low. I didn't like yesterday's action. I said we should, unless we gapped and took this high utterly, we should trade lower regardless of how we close. So even though we're in a strong bull move, we did trade lower, which is not a lot lower, but it's enough to satisfy the call. We said ultimately we should see 48.66.41. And usually it didn't have to wait long. That was the high price within eight cents. The high was 48.66.48. Now we have a direct hit on the target, and futures are up 10 points as I'm recording this, so we don't have to stop here. But in my book, I point out if there is a direct hit, if we do stop right at the target within a small, with a small leeway. It can lead to very strong moves in the other direction. And the catch is by the time you find out if you stopped right at the target, it's probably too late to take advantage of it. But that just be aware that we're up smartly. I don't have anything saying this moves over. But if we can't hold on to that overnight gain, and if we start lower, and especially if we gap down, here's a stilt, here's a diamond. If we gap down, which I'm not predicting one way or the other, you're going to have a diamond on stilts potential to come all the way down to the origin of the left still. That doesn't mean we are going to gap down. All we have to do is hold on to the gains we already have. But if we don't, that's a red flag. During the day, me, JT said this drop is false, wouldn't stick. Said this drop is false, wouldn't stick. Said that drop is false, wouldn't stick. We had an ultimate sell signal, but that's enough to satisfy it, and everything is already played out. We do have resistance just over current prices from this line, but of course, if we gap over that line, we've overcome resistance, and the way this market's going, nothing's impossible. Just remember that that is resistance. If we don't gap over it, we move over it anyway, it probably isn't going to stick. It's, uh, since we already touched that once, that might not work. Usually it works the first time you touch it. Wednesday's pattern has the early low, it just doesn't tell us where we open. If you just up 10 handles as I record this, and I have nothing saying the rally's over. We stop where right the MJT target, and that's resistance. But if the overnight move is maintained, which means gapping up, we'll have gapped over resistance, and that's the ideal situation. Resistance doesn't have to hold, and when you move up to it in a straight line, you ideally want to gap over it to keep the move going. If for some reason we can't hold on to the overnight gains, we open lower, there's a direct hit on the target, and that can lead to a strong move in the other direction. Right now, I don't have anything saying we will gap down, but if we do gap down, if we do, we'll have a diamond on stilts pattern. The right stilt doesn't have to go all the way to the origin of the left stilt, but it often will, and that would erase all of the week's gains. And you can call this a double top, you can call it whatever you want. We gap up here, there's nothing negative that I see in this pattern even though there is that trend line resistance slightly over. All we have to do is hold on to what we have. But if we can't hold on to what we have, and if, if, if we open down here, there's a reason why it's harder for coming all the way back down here. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying be, we'll be alert for that possibility if by some chance we can't hold on to overnight gains. I don't have much other than that. It's the pattern tomorrow with the early low, and that's today's call.